Good, how are you? My wife's going to make a report of uh, stalking and harassment. Where is she? She's she, she just coming right now. She had to pick up my daughter from the hospital. Uh, okay. Yeah, she she actually running for a council seat. Okay. And he's been following her, taking pictures and stuff like that. Who is it? Some uh, true, I don't say, I have no idea. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know if y'all had them before. But, uh, I mean, I know, I know true homestead, but... Yeah, they just harassed me. They put time put up military information online talk about disability and stuff, which is you know, can't talk about things like that. How long you been on the force? It's gonna be less than twenty six, so it was almost eighteen years. Eighteen, okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah one of uh, one of my yes, pride military uh, guys. Frank, I think he's a. Uh, I don't know if you call it auxiliary or part time. Who's that? Frank. Frank, Frank, Frank. We got so many that come and go, man. Oh. Well, I know you know Robert. Robbie Tate? Robert here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Morris. Yeah, he, he drive a Mark. He got a, a Traverse. Yeah. You got to put it down. Like now they they following her around. That, that just getting ready. They did the same thing to um, Patricia Fairfax. Yeah. Man, that's the she's running for. They post they posted stuff about her. They went to her house because I think the issue was they were saying that she lived in a different community than than what the seat was for. Mm -hmm. Like, I think it was for Oasis and she was living in another community, supposedly. Mm -hmm. So they went to her house and they recorded her backing out of the driveway. Probably the same group. Mm -hmm. Well, this is our community. We don't live no way else. <laughs> I mean, military family been here since the early 2000s. And this is our, well, this way I, I retired from the base, from the military. Where you decide to stay. Um, yeah, I just don't understand that. I mean, you would think politics up when you get up to the even the county level, maybe the state level, and how you get look contested. But this the council. Yeah. Really, ain't nobody making laws over here. <laughs> you try to be a mediator between your, your your city and the county, right? And the state. That's, that's all. You a mouthpiece. It ain't. Ain't nobody doing anything. Listen. Yeah, I don't understand how people can get so caught up in, in certain things. The reason this plane has to turn around. Good morning. Oh, my, I had to get my daughter from the. Oh, that's fine. How are you? You want to come inside? No, it's okay. We do it right here. What's going on? So um, there's a group, um, I guess they think it's okay, it's on Facebook though, they're putting out all these things about me and, and my family, they're following now the car and taking pictures of my car in places and so I, it's harassment at this point, I want to definitely get a record of it and with the following of, it's stalking as well, so you, I wanted to... Mm -hmm. Do you know who it is? I think it's the Orta guy, um, I know it's on the True Homestead. And I was going to also call Facebook to find out what we can do uh, from their vantage point. Oh. You said Orta? Uh-huh, Orta. Um, let me just call someone and ask what's his name. The one who he runs it or he owns it. Hello, good morning. How are you? Good. Quick question. What is the guy who runs True Homestead again? His name? Dr. James Eric McDonough. And is it, what about the Orta guy? Who is he? Ramiro Orta. Is a part of that as well? Okay. Harassment on all of them. I'm charging. Yes, that's what I do. Go high. That's right. So, talking with the police now.
it's okay and I'm gonna I'm gonna continue because then that way you see this is called bullying and this is why people commit suicide it's not only bullying it's stalking I wasn't able to sleep well and all those things so it's a problem you know to I have people from everywhere texting me screenshots and these things about me and I'm like what's going on so no I'm not gonna go into that cycle for myself or my family I'm reporting it and doing the right things and and hopefully eventually get a restraining order if it gets worse yeah awesome okay thank you so much okay. Bye -bye. yes and Ramiro Orta she says those are the two that runs it and it's just too much I was saying this is the uh, this is a, a bullying of, of sorts and I'm not gonna stand by and let it happen to me or my family have you seen the person who's doing it I don't know what he looks like it's so interesting last night we were in the grocery store and some with my shirt on and the, there was some guy who said something he said to Shiva something about uh, what I had uh, purchased you know to purchase so I don't know my husband asked me is that him I don't know what they look like they do it Somehow, I, I just need to find out maybe what they look like too to see when they're around me. Alright, so what's been going on that you know of? So these are the messages that I've received. Um, oh, she sent the name like Dr. James Eric McDonald. You know those names? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then... Um, I mean, that, that's who... I guess that's who runs the website, but yeah. I don't know if that's the person that's following you. That's what I'm asking. He's, do, he, he's signing it. Let me see. Oh, I don't know. Well, he's seeming like, where's the message from this one lady? Oh, because she sent me all the screen posts, and he's saying, like, he ends with, see, Doc? So it's definitely Doc. That's one of them. And these are all, so they go to my page, and they're taking pictures from me and my family and my work and everything, and they're putting it up with these things. They're talking about, um, ter uh, permanently and what is it like permanently disabled or something like this I'm like what the hell what are they I have more that's just one it's more if you're gonna permanent disability or something like this and then I have more let me show you the others So this is when they take pictures of um, me and my car. Well, who took that? I don't know. Oh, this is from my page. And then they are taking pictures, though, of my oh. car when I was downtown. Um, I think I was downtown on Saturday. In Homestead? Yes, by um, Seminole Theater. What's, what's the, the reference to your car? Because they're saying, um, like, I'm total and permanently disabled with handicap. My, my husband and I are both veterans. and But that's not true anyway. But they're saying those things. This is a, the part of the message here. Complete and permanent, something like this. And you see he signs it, Doc Justice on this. And then there's others. There's another. That's me and my work. They're taking those pictures from my page and putting out these narratives that's not, they're not true. 3511 North East 10 Drive. 3511 North East 10 Drive. The Grayson residence, general motion. They're advising a dispatch request was from, oh. was made from the panel. And it's on 921 Okay, and then that's mine. I think that's it from so far. I don't know from this morning what they got. So basically, he's going to your. He's going to my page, page. except for that time when he's taking pictures of the car. Taking photos of you and then putting narratives. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have your ID? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But you haven't seen like anybody come by your house or. I don't know. No. But that you know of. No. I don't want it to get to that space either. That's what my concern is, let's say. Can I get a restraining order against that? Um, we don't issue restraining orders. Mm -hmm. If you go to the courthouse, mm -hmm. um, you can speak to the attorneys there. And what happens is, they, you know, you tell them what's going on and 
It's up to a judge, mm -hmm. yes or no. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't make that decision. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I can tell you is if you want a restraining order, you go to the courthouse yeah. and you ask for one. Okay. <laughs> Use, I mean, like I said, you you can try. Um, usually, it's for um, violence, um, stalking, like they're actually coming to your house, um, threats, stuff like that. Um, but again, you can you can still try. Uh, what's your phone number? And this is all because you're running for the seat. I mean, if you, I don't know if you looked at True Homesick, but it's not just you. No, I know that it's not, but <laughs> I'm I'm concerned with me and my family. No, I know. They're putting out things about my house. He's and got. All this. Um, he's been to Patricia Faircloth's house. Yeah. He's taking photos of her car. Yeah. The thing about it is, like I was just telling her, is that you have to nip it in the bud. Somebody has to stop this guy. I will sue the shit out of him and have his house, and he'll be out of homestead. You know what I mean? We have to have the paper trail enough to do it. And just like how he stand fast, we have to stand fast to say, no, we're, we're going to stand up against bullying and harassment in our community. Yeah. No, we're not going to let this happen. And just say, oh, no, he's just doing, oh, that's how it is when he, no. What gives him the right? Do you know who he is? I really don't. That's why I'm saying uh, I don't know what he looks like. Uh, he usually goes you, to the, 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 the meetings at City Hall. Really? You yeah. see, I had to um, ask her his name. That's not... Yeah. When I go there, I'm focused on the city issues. I'm not there looking for these people and saying, who's going to get me? We shouldn't live like that. Right. Uh-uh. Well, I agree. All right. Here's the case number. Okay. I'm going to write a report for you. Yes, sir. Um, if you want a copy of the report, mm -hmm. you can pick it up at the station in five business days. Okay. Um... Like I said, if you want to try to get a restraining order, you go to Cutler Ridge, mm -hmm. uh, the courthouse, you can do it there. Okay. Um, any other problems, mm -hmm. call us and we can add to the case. Okay. So like let's say you're at Publix and somebody says something to you or he, mm -hmm. he takes a picture of you, mm -hmm. um, we can add it to that case number. Okay. okay? Perfect. Will do. So, she said that, oh, now they'll get even worse, but I'm, I'm not going to stand down. Yeah. I'm going to stand up for myself because this is... What we have to show our kids is the example of how you handle somebody's bullying you. Right. This is what you do. You go and you tell the authorities, and then you handle it from there. There's a cycle. There's a process to all of it. Yep. And his behavior is bad behavior. No matter what seed or political or whatever that you're running for, it's unacceptable. I agree. No, we can't do that. But um, keep that and call us if you need anything, okay? Okay. Thank you so all right. much. Thank nice you to for meet coming you. Out. You too.